What is a How It's Made Monday here on the Valley today? And this morning, Christy Larson is giving us an inside look at a delicious candy we all love known as licorice. And it's made right here in the Valley. Well, I'm here with Keith Carlson. He's the production manager for Kenny's. And we talked about the licorice. It gets heated to a certain temperature, goes on the conveyor belt. What is the next step? So the very next step is we have to get it on the conveyor belt and then we spray it with an anti-stick agent because licorice by nature is very, very sticky. Um, so if we don't have that anti-stick agent on there, it's going to stick together and uh, you're not going to be able to have the, uh, a really good experience with the licorice as you would with the anti-stick on there. So from there it goes through a conditioning tunnel where we cool it, condition it, we cut it to whatever length we're running. Um, so if we're doing a 5 inch piece, a 7 inch, 8 and a half, 12, 2 inch, uh, what you have behind me here is Aussie, uh, the Australian licorice is 2 inches, we can do half inch, 5 eighths, whatever the, the customer wants, we cut it to the desired length, it gets weighed out in various different formats, and then it goes into a package at that point. There's a lot of hands that then come into play on working when it comes to packaging. So we're going to be giving you guys a look at exactly how that's done. It actually takes a lot more practice than what you think. I know if I tried to do it, I'd look like I love Lucy and just fall behind. For sure. <laughs> uh, it's one of the most common uh, misconceptions about our line workers. They say, oh, I can do that. It's really easy until they try. And they realize very quickly that's a skilled position and uh, it takes weeks of training to do it. So we'll be showing you guys exactly how they do that, how fast they are when we come back. Looking forward to that. I'll continue to just eat the delicious candy. I'm going to, that's what I'm good at. That's for sure.